All right, good morning. Now, the Electoral College is still blaming Hillary for them voting in Trump on that. Now, the Russian hacking don't matter. Now. Hillary having three million votes don't matter, right? Why? Because the Electoral College, you know, without any hacky, elected President Trump over Hillary. Right? Quit lying, Electoral College, about what you did. You know. Those might be reasons why you elected Trump over Hillary. But quit lying to the public and telling them that's what you did. That you didn't do it that way. You're the hypocrites who've taken over the electoral process anyway. And we're no longer a democracy where it's of the people, by the people, all right? You're deciding the presidents now. Thank you very much for choosing Trump. Not, not going to do about it, I guess, except expose your crime. I don't know. And it's a crime when a democracy has voted for Hillary three million more votes and you still elect Trump. Mm -hmm. Blaming it on illegal immigrants voting with an ID, huh? A fake ID, huh? Because you can only vote with a Georgia a, a state ID, I know. A state issued ID. So they're so good they can fake a state ID now. <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Electoral College? See, you voted Trump in, not us. We voted Hillary. I know. I know you're lies now. You're distracting the people from the truth like all liars do. I know. You're distracting them with bullshit because that's all you know is bullshit. And you don't trick the two witnesses, all right? Or me, or me. The first of the two witnesses. Your lies will be exposed through my channel. I know. Every day you continue to lie until you repent of your lie. I know. That's my job as a prophet, like with King David and Nathan. Now, if Nathan knew, the child would know, I know, when he got older, that Uriah might be his daddy and not David. I know. That's why Uriah's son had to be killed. That today would be called an abortion, right? That's why abortion can be legalized now, I know. God killed Uriah's child so he wouldn't kill David in his old age. David thinking the child was on his side, but really it was Uriah's child, right? And want revenge for Uriah's death, right? And that's your problem. You're not listening to the story. You're hearing what you want to hear, right? And Bathsheba is really the one who was punished by God killing the child, right? And David did believe her that it was his child, but it also might be Uriah's because she was his wife. He had her before they went to war. David had her during the war where he was supposed to be in the field with soldiers, right? Now, if the king sends for you, and you know you might be just had sex with your husband, and then you have sex with the king too, what would be the reason for that? You're not being sure who the father is anyway, anyway. And you can't tell the child he is or isn't David's or Uriah's either when he's older. And, uh, you're playing a deadly game not only with your life, but your husband's life as well. And, uh, now, luckily for her, David never caught on and then had Solomon and Nathan with her. Right? Those were actually his children. But only the Lord would know David wasn't the father of Uriah's child. Right? That's why he had to kill the child. That today would be called an abortion, right? Understand that, Electoral College. You don't understand the law because you don't see Jesus or God to understand it. You think you can't ask questions of God. Well, if that's true, then when the scribes and Pharisees ask questions of Jesus, well, he shouldn't have answered them. Right. Now, when he was younger, around 12, the same thing happened in the temple when he was with them in the temple. He both, they both asked and answered his questions. Right. Both ways too. He asked and answered their questions too. I know. Some people think God won't answer a question, but you don't ask. 
that you may receive. You don't knock that the door may open. You don't seek that you may find. Uh, you've told yourself so many lies right, that you no longer want to see the truth or even hear it. Uh, you've deceived yourselves through Satan's evil one uh, in Eden and having sex with both Adam and Eve and anally with Adam, right? You don't want to deal with that, right? That's not the problem, is how Satan did it to Adam, too. He probably partially raped him, even if he wanted to stop afterwards, too, right? Because, you know, you can entice someone to the point of him maybe thinking about doing it, but then when he did it, he might not want, might, might want to stop, too. That became rape, right? If you don't want to do something, and you start it off, yet you change your mind, and Satan wouldn't let him change his mind, right? It became rape, the rape of Adam, right? Not Eve, not Eve. <laughs> now, any man can be raped in that situation too, right? You can change your mind and say that, no, right? But now, if you're born homosexual, right? Attracted to the same sex, and you seek a same sex partner, you want to get legally married, you can't, right? That's not the problem either. That's different too, right? That's what I've been telling you the whole time. You don't understand the rules to even judge this crap or what it's all about. Uh -huh. So quit putting your foot in your mouth and lying to us and being mistaken all the time. Right. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. You're being dumbasses, right? King of the dumbasses like Satan. Uh -huh. And Adam, who let him do it to him at first, but then realized it didn't feel as good as he thought it did, but was halfway through it anyway, and Satan finished, right? That defiled his tabernacle. And again, he also had sex with Eve, maybe at least vaginally. I don't know if he did her anally, but again, I don't know. He could have done that too, right? And y'all don't want to face the truth of how he really defiled both their tabernacles, right? wasn't the straight sex, but the anal sex. Now, Eve might have even let Adam think it was okay for her when it wasn't. She might have misled led him because he told her not to eat the tree in the middle of the garden. Not the tree of knowledge of good and evil like God told him. Well, the tree in the middle of the garden is the tree of life. He told her not to even touch it, at least she died. And, uh, well, why the tree of life kill you if you touch it? Right? It wasn't, uh, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and, uh, could entice her afterwards to have sex with it, right? And then sex with Adam. And then after they both ate, Eve saw her sin, right? She understood what she did wrong, but still neither one confessed it until they died, right? And that's why they died. They never confessed their sins. What I'm doing is called confessing it for them, right? In the state that I'm in, too, too. Knowing what they did wrong, right? Through studying the scriptures, right? Not by man's understanding of it either, but by God's alone and Jesus's, right? That's the difference between me and the disciples. They didn't want to tell us the whole truth anyway. Anyway, they wanted us to either figure it out for ourselves or use some of what they said to understand it better, but we never did. We never did. That's our problem today. We're not going on into perfection to understand it all at all. As pointed out in Hebrews chapter 6, right? So we're lying to each other about it too. The men are lying to the women and the women and the men, right? It's become the battle of the sexes, not the truth. I know. And it's become the homosexual versus the heterosexual and all that crap too, right? And sometimes you rape each other into it too, right? But don't talk about it, right? That's a problem. Rape is not a part of a normal society. Never will be. Never will be. That's why we're cut off from the other universes in the universe. <laughs> Says <laughs> that we're now seeing our multiple universes, right? But we can't even reach them because we're in the prison system of the universe, right? We've been cut off from their reality, right? Because we're doing something majorly wrong to each other. That's why, that's why. This is the prison planet, dumbasses. We're on it together. We have to figure it out together as one, as one. That's why I'm trying to do it for us all. Oh, no. Now, Jesus said of his son, by my servant's knowledge, 
you shall all be saved. <laughs> By my knowledge, you can be saved if you come to me in Jesus. As God supported Jesus, Jesus is supporting me. All right. And we're one. We're one. Whether you like it or not. I am what Jesus referred to as the Holy Ghost, the person of the Holy Ghost. Though I'm seeking a female counterpart, right? To agree with me. Could that be Amanda? I don't know. Could that be Mary Bell? I don't know. <sighs> Point is, I don't know who my wife is any more than any other man does on the planet. I don't know. But I'm seeking her, right? And only God knows who it is, right? Now, could Amanda decide to be with me in the future? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's not my choice. It would be hers. Right? And I know a few Amandas, too. I don't know which one would be the right Amanda either. And I know a few Mary Bells, too. Right? I don't know which one would be the right Mary Bell. But there's only one Shane Edward Lee. From the beginning, always declaring the ways of the Lord. Right? Says I was 16. Right? An attack with some kind of weapon or in a car accident, which was used to cover up the attack with the bat, right? <clears throat> like I said. And the same thing happened in 94 when I was in the Navy, right? I was attacked with a weapon designed to paralyze my lower half, right? Because they knew they couldn't fuck with my upper half. That already survived something that was miraculous, right? So they tried to paralyze my lower half, right? But did not, but did not. There's a, but now I'm in arthritis pain because they did the lower half worse than the upper half too, too. Trying to permanently paralyze me. <laughs> but that didn't work either. Jesus healed both areas, right? Proving my faith. Proving your faith. Now, you can continue in sin that grace may abound, but I do not. I know. Meaning, you can trick me a few times, but I try to do the right thing. Anyway, anyway. If you're tricking me into doing something, you're the deceiver, not me. I know. It is he that knows good and does it not to him in descent, right? Dude, dude, that's why you're saved by grace through faith, not as far as he's any advantage of both. But once you're aware of a sin, if you don't confess it, it becomes more sin, right? Not less sin, right? That's because no man is perfect under the sun, except for Jesus, who died for all our sins, right? But you have to come to the knowledge of the truth, too, too. Or you're continuing sin that grace may abound, too, too. In other words, you want to understand some of it, but not all of it, right? I'm trying to understand all of it, not some of it, right? That's why we're different, right? That's why Jesus can heal me of a hangman's fracture and lock facets at the C2 and C3 on both sides, probably, probably. With the middle two uh, vertebra broken almost. Down at an uneven level, right? <laughs> and they're supposed to be even with the other two, <laughs> other uh, five. So I know that too, all right? So they first tried to paralyze me from the neck down. Then they tried to paralyze me from the sacrum down, all right? And the, the lumbar in the lumbar region. Didn't do that either. You know? That's two strikes. Then they tried to make me have congestive heart failure through high blood pressure, right? That didn't work. Now they're trying to make me develop uh, diabetes and stuff like that. That ain't working, that ain't working. <sighs> Still fighting you. Get up, stand up. Stand up, all you rights. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Join me, people of the true and living eternal spirit and the eternal one who you call Jesus Christ. Believe and you will be saved. Do not believe and you will be condemned. All right. We don't even require you to be baptized anymore. All right. Just believe and call upon Hashim. We'll give you five choices if you're not sure. You can say Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahoah. Yahava or Yahava. We don't care. We don't care. Five choices. And they're all in the Bible. And they're all in the Bible. If you want to, you can use the last half, which can be who he, Havahi, or Havahi. If you want. That's up to you too. 
or ha ho he, or ho he, as well. Oh, no. Sorry, I did that one a little wrong. Yeah, ho ho he who he, and hey va he and ha va he. Those are the four ways to pronounce the last half, and y'all, the five ways to pronounce the first half. That's nine ways to name the Lord, right? Though, it's up to you. It's up to you. So, hey, va, he, ho, va, ho, he, who, he, ha, va, he. And then, ya, va, ya, who, ah, ya, ho, ah, ya, ha, va, and ya, he, va. And, uh, you can use those five combinations, right? And combine it with any of the four combinations you want to use, right? Ho, ah, who, ah, ha, va, he, or he, va, he, right? It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm just giving you the grammatical correct pronunciation in the Hebrew based upon the syllables and the different names in the Hebrew, right? I have to give you this many choices because there's five books of Moses, right? But there's four Gospels. See what I mean? See what I mean? The power is yours is yours <laughs> and that's the point that's the point now of course in my impersonations I'm also teaching you how to develop your own individual voices or voice on uh, the thing with and without attitude All right because I learned to sing with it without knowing I was singing with it too too so I can now match auditing they used to promote their artists since the 1950s, right? Trying to improve the human sounding voice, right? Which they did to a point, right? Which I can now impersonate that machine, right? <laughs> Not knowing it was a machine. I believed them. They were really singing with, the, with their human voice, right? That's their fault again, lying about the process, right? Well, if you lie, someone might learn to sing with your machine thinking it's a real human being, right? And then you're committing fraud because it's really a machine, not a human being, right? But if a real human being learns to sing with your machine, then it's no longer fraud, right? You understand that, right? right? But until then, it's fraud. It's fraud. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, y'all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.